This video demonstrates how to create the contact analysis using ANSYS. Create a static structural analysis. Pick on the static structural and drag it to the green highlighted window. Rename the file as contact analysis. Enter. Double click on the engineering data. Ensure that the structural steel is a default material selected. To add one more material, pick on engineering data source Pick on the general materials. Include the structural aluminium alloy using this plus symbol. Pick on engineering data source again, which will take us back to the material definition or engineering data. Pick on the structural steel, change the unit of density as ton per millimeter cube and the unit of Eng's modulus as megapascal. Poison's ratio is 0 0.3. Similarly, pick on aluminium alloy, select the density of the aluminium unit ton per millimeter cube, the Eng's modulus as megapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.33. Once the material definition for steel and aluminium is complete, pick on return to project. To import the CAD geometry, right click on the geometry Pick on Import. Browse for the file which can be of any CAD modeling package or import the neutral format like STEP or IGES. In this case, already the STEP file is in the temporary memory. Pick on this file. Note that there is a check mark at the geometry which means geometry has already imported and engineering data is already defined. Select the unit of this whole project. Units. Check here the unit is metric, ton, millimeter and second. Right click on the model and edit. Observe here starting mechanical window is prompted. The geometry is now imported which can be oriented in the desired direction. Let us orient in this direction. Assume in this case there are two components. The first component is the horizontal one and second component is the vertical component. Let us consider this particular horizontal component is made up of aluminium and vertical component is made up of steel. So the mandatory is to assign the material. Pick on this horizontal component or the first component and change the material to aluminium. Ensure that the material of second component is structural steel. Now pick on the contact. By default there exists one contact region. You can observe the contact region by rotating the model. The blue highlighted face represents a target face and the red highlighted face represents the contact face. Let us accept this 
existing condition. Remember, target body should always be stiffer compared to the contact body. In this case, the vertical body is a steel. Hence, it is treated as a target. Target bodies are highlighted in blue color and contact bodies are highlighted in red. Change the definition of contact type as frictional. Enter the frictional coefficient. Under the behavior, select as symmetric. Under advanced, select the formulation as augmented Lagrange. Select the detection method to be node normal from contact. Once the contact definition is complete, right click on the connections, insert, pick on contact tool. Now right click on the contact tool, evaluate the initial contact result. The contact will be evaluated for the existing case and it gives the result. Pick on the information here. It says the contact is closed and there are no issues. If at all there exists any issue, then it will highlight in these respective colors. Now update the mesh. The mesh is already generated. The elements here created are hexagonal solid elements. Apply the boundary conditions. Right click, insert fixed support. Pick on this face and this face by pressing hold control. These two faces are now selected under geometry. Pick on apply. There you can find the fixed support in the static structural. Right click insert apply the force. Apply the force on this face and this face. Multiple selection requires pressing hold the control. Confirm the geometry by picking on apply. Enter the force in y direction that is to in negative direction under the components. Pick on y component of force as 56 Newton that is to be in negative direction. Observe that the force is now applied. Now the steel body is fixed and aluminium body is applied with a force and having the contact in between but there is no boundary condition defined for this horizontal body or the aluminium body. Right click on static structural, insert, pick on displacement constraint. Apply the constraint to any one point of that model. Pick on the point and select this point. Geometry that is point is now selected. Confirm the selection by picking on apply. The moment of this horizontal body to be free in the y direction. Hence y should be 0, sorry y should be free, x and z should be 0. It can be observed that the component that is the displacement constraint is defined. x translation is 0, y translation is free 
and Z translation is zero. Once the load, boundary conditions and constraints are defined, it is the time to proceed for the analysis. Pick on, right click, pick on solve. The overall progress of the solution can be monitored here. Once the solution is complete, pick on the solution information under the solution output, pick on convergence of force. You can observe that the force has converged. Pick on right click solution, insert, pick on the stress, use von Mises stress. Right click, insert, deformation, use directional deformation to be of y axis with respect to the global coordinate system. Right click on the solution, insert, pick on the contact tool and use contact tool here. Right click on the contact tool, pick on insert, use contact pressure for the result evaluation. Observe the symbols means they are not updated. Right click on the solution, pick on evaluate all the results. Results are now evaluated, pick on the result to see the magnitude. This results are obtained with respect to the force which has already defined. Observe the results, equivalent stress. The magnitude can be changed from here. This is the scaling. Pick on 1 is to 1 scale, that is the true scale. Use directional deformation and this is the magnitude of deformation. Similarly, the status of the contact and the contact pressure. Pick on isometric orientation to plot the results in a different window. Pick on plot results in four viewports. Minimize these windows so that the results can be viewed in a different window. Pick on this window, use the mesh. Pick on this window, use the stress result. Pick on this window, use the contact pressure. And pick on this window, use the deformation result. Four results can be viewed at a time. Thank you for watching this video.